Hello, 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 my beautiful new human family. My name is Oracle Jessie, she, her, hers. And today, I am here to give you a personal update, I guess. <laughs> I don't know when this video is going to go out. I've got an idea for another video that, um, yeah, I have footage for. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get it done in time to send out next Tuesday or not. Whatever. Anyway. So, here we are. I am in Austin, Texas currently. And I am so excited to be here. I'm so much more relaxed, so much more chill, so much more, I suppose, at peace with the knowing that everything's going to be okay. Not that I wasn't before, but I think it's just a continual um, lesson in learning that the universe is looking out for me and I can have anything that I want and yeah. So, um... One of the things that I kind of decided on just recently was, um, so I went to a static dance on Sunday, and then I, and what happened? <laughs> then I went to lunch with everybody from, almost everybody from a static dance, and then I went to, sorry if the wind's bothering you. Then I took a break for a little bit, and then I went to Authentic Relating Games, which is where people um, just basically learn how to um, practice loving communication skills. The birds are flying everywhere. And... Oh, that is why a hawk just came. That's why. There's a sign. There's a sign in everything. Everything is a sign. Okay. So, so basically it was a, a little much for my little uh, introverted self, um, which was okay, you know. I got to meet up with... Some of my friends that I met here last year, and I um, miss them so much. And I got to meet some new friends that I love, um, and hopefully we'll get to spend more time with in the future, in the maybe near future. I don't know. I really don't know. We never really know. Um, and so yeah, that was good just to be here and expand myself a little bit. And then at the end of the night, I was um, driving to where I normally park and um, shower and all that stuff. And it was just, I don't know, it was a, it was a little much. And so I was, I felt myself missing a being being there, not necessarily like a person, but also missing my cats, you know, and when, when I say missing them, I mean noticing their absence more than I was noticing the presence of some, someone there. And then I was thinking that it just wasn't really in alignment with what, first off, with what I truly, truly know, because we're never really alone. And I was more thinking about how I wanted to be more self-sufficient in, in the way that I can be okay to go out with a bunch of friends and do everything all day and then come home to, you know, where I park it and, um, and be okay with being just me, the only living, breathing thing in my vehicle by myself. So, while I did say in the last video, I believe, 
um, you guys saw that in the last personal update video at, at least um, that I did I was um, really serious about manifesting a dog and I seriously was like I already went to the shelter to pick them out and who knows maybe tomorrow I'll go get one um, and as of right now it's just not not something that I'm doing um, but what I did what did happen on Sunday was I ran um, after going to the shelter already I went to the shelter on Saturday which is probably the worst day to go to the shelter um, but yeah, I went to the shelter on Saturday and looked at a few dogs and picked a few out and liked and felt like I made a connection with some of them. Um, but on Sunday, there was this beautiful human being that had a dog that was, that, I don't know, kind of looked like a terrier, but what it really was is a mix between a chihuahua and a poodle. And I was just saying the other day to someone, I don't know who I was talking to, but I was just saying how I wanted, you know, like a chihuahua without the attitude. <laughs> and she laughed and she said, that's the, per that would be the perfect dog. I told her everything that I was going to do. And she said, yeah, that's a perfect dog. And I asked if she knew of anybody who had one, who had one, um, you know, kind of available or whatever. <sighs> and so she's going to try to get in I'll see her again I'm sure I haven't reached out to her personally yet but maybe chihuahua and poodle that was an interesting mix the one that she had was more straight haired and she said she's seen them look more like the curly haired labradoodle kind you don't have to get it groomed she says um, and it hardly ever sheds so Looks like that's the one that I might want. I wouldn't be opposed to having a larger one, one that's bigger than a, than, you know, your typical chihuahua or to toy poodle, but, um, the s smaller would probably be best, let's be honest right now. So, now I know what kind of dog I want. I don't quite know if it, so I saw something. Um, if it will manifest sooner rather than later or whatever. So, there's that. So, um, and then I got another reading. I didn't get a reading. I watched one of the lovely readings that Tara Rowe puts out. I definitely recommend her readings on YouTube <laughs> if you're so interested in, um, taking a look at love readings or soul soul connections, twin flames, anything like that. Um, and I watched her, and so um, she said that Pisces should just be chilling out right now, and that is what I have been doing. I am the professional chill outer -er person. So I've just been reading a lot, and honestly working whenever I want and I'm still earning the same amount of money <laughs> or more than what I would have been in DC. It's amazing. I'm just so chill, so relaxed, so I feel so connected to to everyone that I'm meeting in the universe and even in those points when I am connected and I'm feeling lonely or whatever it's just it's very very temporary I know how to take care of myself and how to get myself out of it so yeah there's that and it's getting colder and colder I am um at Barton Springs I don't know I can't remember if I said that five minutes ago or not but basically it's this spring natural spring that you can swim in and I went swimming in December in December 
Yeah, my family in um, northern Indiana has snow now. And I went swimming outside today. So, my grandma had a kick out of it when I told her that earlier today. I am in shorts, and I went swimming in a sports bra, sports bra and shorts, and the shorts are still kind of wet, which is why I'm really, really cold right now. That and the wind, so. Sorry, with the lightning. But, so that's what I've done today. Worked a little bit. I'll probably do more paintings. <sighs> But I don't know how much of that I will be doing, considering my phone battery is almost dead. And I'm supposed to meet a friend before, so that we can go to dinner before we go to dance again tonight. So, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, I got myself a ring. It's fluorite. Good for protection. Good for clarity, cleansing, and... Yeah, it's that, that mental mental clarity and channeling. I like that it is, um, I don't know if I can show you better, maybe. There we go. I like that it is somewhat clear, but it's also got the purple and the green in it. So you can see my finger through it. Yep, clear. Clarity. Because we all could use some of that. So, I'm probably gonna get off here, skedaddle, go plug my phone in, and find a place in nature that I can, uh, well, change my clothes first off. Because these shorts are just not working anymore. Maybe... Hang this towel up so that it can dry in the sun. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to hop off here. Short video today, short update. Um, if you haven't already, check out the paintings. Because I have been doing um, paintings. And hopefully, by Christmas, hopefully, I um Zodiac look ahead to 2020 and their extended readings. I've done a few of them. I will continue to do them and work through that and then you guys will know when it gets posted. So yeah, I'm kind of excited for paintings and how that's progressing. And um, oh, another update as far as the paintings go. I've got a couple friends um, that here in Austin that are interested in that and a couple contacts as far as artsy people that or a um, couple places to check out that I might be able to have my stuff there and do my stuff there and just yeah so things are progressing as far as that goes too so yeah I'm gonna hop off here so I can go get warm I love you all so much. Hasta luego. Bye bye.